Right, yeah, back out. Back in. Just gotta say it, haven't I? Um, so I've been challenged by Jimmy of Lundy's Wild Bushcraft something or other. I'll put it I'll put a link in. <laughs> you can check him out. Lundy, Jimmy he's called. Thanks Jimmy. Um, and it's top five camping tips, wild camping tips for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you might find some of these tips um, actually life-saving. Life-saving. I'm not even joking. So we'll start with number one. Number one, oh, top tip. Your stove, right? No matter what kind of stove you've got, jet boil. I started off with an Alp kit brew kit, and I, I just upgraded that recently, but I don't really rate this very well. And it's that right, I mean it boils water fast and you can put um, soup and that in there, but if I was going to recommend it, I would say get some cheaper. It's not all that for the price, for the price of that. I got that cheap, I got it on a special offer, but uh, I wouldn't say full price for it, 100 odd quid. So what you've got to do is you've got to become one with your stove. This is a top tip. Get to know your stove. Use it in the house. Work out how, how the gas fits on, how it switches on and off. It's got a like piezo, piezo ignition on, which helps. You've got a lighter, learn how to light it. And become one with your stove. Because when it's cold, it's raining, it's windy, you're freezing, do you want to brew? If you can do it, as if you're one with the stove, then you're laughing. So I'll just put that on there. Zoom in a bit. Because I want to become one with the stove. Become one. Right, so, so you boil your water. I'll just put some water in here. This is just for an example, I'm not going to boil it. You become one with the stove and you can do this blindfolded. So you learn how to turn it on, get the igniter going. I'm not going to light it, I'm not going to boil it because there's no point in wasting gas. And then get it off the, off the handle, get it off the, get it off the thing, become one with the stove. Easy. And that's it. Become one with your stove. Become the ninja stove master. And you will never be short of a cup of tea. We'll just uh So top tip number two is and not many people know this because you never you never really see me backpack, but I always carry a bucket. I always have a bucket with us in my backpack. And I'll tell you why. Let's put that there. The bucket is, it's got a few things in, just bits and bobs. But I normally have this empty in my backpack. It's the most useful of things. Because you can fill it with water for your water. You can um, use it for the toilet. If you don't like sort of going in the grass and whatever, use the bucket. It's perfect. I shall now demonstrate. So, a bucket is very useful. Remember to wash it though. You can use it after that in the yard there. You can use it, use it out and fling it over your mate's tent. If you want, if you want to be mischievous. So number two, a big bucket. Take a bucket. Just, it will sit in the top of your bag. It sits in the top of your bag and you can put stuff in it, you know. You can put stuff in it. Just make sure you wash it, that's the only thing. Pretty sure I'll wash that one. Right, so, you can't see it. You can't see it. Top tip, number three. I think it's number three, is if you suffer from cold tears, right, cold toes or feet, 
Forget about down booties and you know thick socks. Wait, you should have thick socks on anyway. I haven't at the minute, like just knocking about the house. But I mean, you've got these gloves, right? Put them on your feet. This is the best idea I think we've ever had on a camp. This is the top tip of the century. You can do that. They keep your hands warm. They're obviously going to keep your feet warm. My feet, my toes now, red hot, boiling. Can I breathe? That's what you do. You put your gloves on your feet, warms them up in minutes, seconds. Okay, so that's top tip. Oh, oh they're freezing now. My feet are freezing again now. So that's top tip number three. So we're on to top tip number three, four, four. I don't know, it might be four. Number four tip is take loads of beer and wine. I know there's only, there's only two cans there at the minute. Normally I take six cans and a bottle of wine. Sometimes my camping mates have a bottle of wine. So we'll have, we'll have like two bottles of wine. Um, hip flask of whiskey. You can never have too much alcohol on a camp. Not only does it make you have a, a good happy camp and you can have a bit dance and a bit crazy carry on, but it helps you sleep and it actually, people say it's a depressant rubbish. It's not a depressant, it makes you happy. So drink loads of beer, right? Take more cans than you can carry. I normally take six cans, that's, that's two, this is 7%. Don't have anything less than six and a half percent. Always go for the high percentage. Get you drunk really quick. But as a rule, we don't start drinking until six o'clock. So come six o'clock, we just go absolutely mad. That's why some of my videos are a bit sketchy. So it'll be that nice Sauvignon Blanc. Nice. Because I'm not out tonight, I'll be having that. So that's top tip number four. Number four is take loads of alcohol. <coughs> Boosh. You know it makes sense. You do. So on the top tip, oh, number six, five. Five, there's only five. Right, in the, um, I mean, my pocket goes in there, I've took it out for this episode. What I take in the top pocket is, when you, when you go on the hills, especially, Come down a bit, I still can't see. Especially in the Chiefiates, there's wild goats, right? And they're rotten. They smell horrible, wild goats. And I think the word wild explains that they are pretty wild. Um, I've never heard of anybody being attacked, but they've got huge horns. Have a look at the picture. And then, um, there's also sheep as well, which can be a bit aggressive, unless they're stuck in a fence. But we all know that I'm the sheep wrangler, the sheep whisperer. But anyway, just in case the wild goats come through the night, I always, always carry a turnip. I always take a turnip. Perfect. If they come right, you can split it in half or four. And just scatter it away from your tent and they'll have that, they'll eat that and they'll leave you alone. So this is top tip number five out of five is always carry a turnip. Carrots will do. Carrots or a swede, well I think that's a swede actually I'm not sure, big debate there. But that's what I take with me. And at Halloween, if they don't eat it, I'll make a little lantern, hollow it out and make a lantern like we used to do in the 70s. So that's top tip number five is the turnip. The turnip. All right, I'll just put this up here. I've got to be careful. This fell off. It fell off the ready tripod just before. This camera fell off the tripod. I couldn't believe it. So that's my top five tips. You've got the be at home with your stove. Um, the second one was the uh, the bucket. The bucket. Um, the third tip was the, I'm getting old you know, what was the third tip? It was the, uh, 
gloves on your feet. Tip number four, all the alcohol. And tip number five, the Swede. Right in the Swede. Oh, that was... It's not football. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you take a lot of wisdom from my videos. Because, you know, I've been doing it for a while. I've got a reputation as being the best there is. And you can see why. You can see why I'm the best. So what we'll do is, um, I was going to tag some people. Uh, as I mentioned Eddie Scott's welcome. I'll give him something to do. He'll have some good tips to, to do with kilts and sporrans and that. Um, can't really think anybody else. There's loads. There's loads. Anybody wants to do this? Five top tips. Just do it. Mention my name if you want. Right. So. We'll see you on the next video or whatever that will be. We're just making stuff up as we go along, I don't know. Whew. Stay safe. Wash your hands.